So, I just want to give some advice about how to deal with the atheism. Um, as Christians, we need to realise, uh, and if you're a theologian or preacher or pastor or a Christian who really is concerned about atheism, uh, I just want you to listen to listen up. First of all, the atheists are extremely um, committed to the cause, and they're extremely dedicated in trying to secularise uh, Western democracies, and they're working very hard to do this. Uh, they're working together. They're using all the multimedia that they can: YouTube, Facebook, etc. And they're gaining ground. And it needs people to set up uh, think tanks on atheism where all the arguments that atheists are doing, uh, Christians can counteract those arguments. Now, I know there's a lot going on, but a vast amount of more needs to be done. So if you want a, a ministry, you know, one ministry is a think tank where you set up a website and you monitor uh, the arguments that atheists are putting out and then you respond to them um, so there needs to be a lot more of that going on and being made people being made aware of these think tanks and um, YouTube videos and, and multimedia things being made uh, to promote these think tanks the next thing you need to do is you need to be uh, working together you know Christian apologists and organizations need to be working cooperating and there needs to be a strategy of moving more into multimedia and uh, making professional videos making a good apologetic videos about Christianity a lot more needs to be done where it's reaching ordinary people kids young people it, a lot more needs to be done uh, and also on the ground there needs to be a lot of w more work done in counteracting atheist arguments on university campuses. I know that there is work being done, but more work needs to be done. And we mustn't be complacent. We must re you must really work hard in, in doing that. Uh, some people need to write more books. You know, I'm, I'm writing one, but you think about writing books about atheism. Uh, good, solid, scholarly critiques, but are down to earth that people can connect with is what's needed. A lot of work needs to be done on the Old Testament. That's the main attack that the atheists do. So if you're a pastor, preacher, um, one area that's needed, desperately needed, is work on the Old Testament answering atheism, but done in a very scholarly, simple way. It's scholarly but simple. A lot more work needs to be done in that area, more multimedia videos, etc. I know that God is a is is God a moral monster is a book that's come out recently, and I know that there are people writing and stuff, but a lot more needs to be done. Um, more of a Christians need to come on YouTube more and uh, blog start blog TV shows where they're talking about Christianity. But again, you need to be aware that. There are a lot of these atheists about patrolling YouTube, patrolling these blog TV shows, and they're just out to entrap you. So you're better off doing it as a team and have a good procedure to be able to deal with these people because they will entrap you. They will get video clips of you where they've, they've cornered you and things like that. So you need to be extremely cautious. If you do come on blog TV, if you start blog TV shows, if you do start uh, YouTube channels, that they will come for you and they will entrap you. So you need to work as teams and you need to have good procedures where you can deal with these kind of things. Um, but also there's a mission field out there. There's a lot of people that are willing to listen, but it needs people who are creative, who are audacious, who are committed, who are sound in the faith who are going to be loving, who are going to do it as a team, who are going to do it church-based. Um, but these ministries need to be started and done much more on YouTube uh, and uh, in all the areas that I've said. Thank you for listening.